miles a day. Up and down again. There's no discharge in the war. Forty-five. Five. 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 Five.
jail and other part secret research facility in the Philippine Sea to just develop weird science. The first thing you're going to see is just everything's dark, really moody. Everything looks shut down. You know something's happened there. We want to set the mood so the player could feel the chaos of the recent outbreak of the zombies. We push the visual a lot, so make it more realistic. We're treating Terminus as a living world, which are just different ways to bring the world to life. Living world is scripted encounters that we have placed in the map to add to ambience. We have these tubes that have zombies inside of them. And when the player walks by them, it'll trigger the escape sequence for them. It'll be very scary and <laughs> shocking. Give that feeling of, wow, this is a world that's existed prior to the player coming in. Zombies have been attacking everything everywhere. So as you move into these spaces, we're really telling that story. Prison guards are still dying around you. You would encounter maybe a guard being eaten alive by a couple zombies, and then they see you and come and attack you. The zombies, they can range from scientists to security experiments. Every time you enter a new space, you don't know exactly what to expect. A zombie head pops out as a vermin, and then it eventually gestates and then becomes a parasite. The tentacle trap is, that's just an awesome trap. The tentacle trap? Oh. <laughs> They're placed over doorways, it drops down and eats up all the zombies that pass through. It's a beast of a main quest, you know, it'll use the ocean, it'll use the islands, it'll use every part of the, the map proper. It's one of the bigger maps we've created. We wanted you to really like think about how you're moving through the space. We never had a drivable vehicle. You can go drive a boat anywhere on the entire map. All that space out there that I thought was just the environment, that feeling of like, I can go anywhere. <laughs> it's like so exciting. In, in true zombies fashion, you're never safe anywhere for very long. A little bit of a foreshadow to something bigger that you might encounter. You know, we're really excited for everyone to just get their hands on it in Black Ops 6. It feels like there's nothing else on the market that can scratch the itch that Black Ops 6 Zombies gives. It's just so fun to play through that gameplay loop over and over again. One of the newest things we have is called Augments, and it's the new way for us to upgrade perks, ammo mods, and field upgrades. We'll give you three major Augments and three minor Augments for you to choose from. So a major Augment could would be more drastic, so there's a major Augment that will turn into three orbs that will essentially carousel around you and protect you. A minor Augment might be stat changes like this napalm burst will now deal slightly more damage. One of our brand new perks, Melee Macchiato, gives you a devastating punch melee. It has a major augment that will improve the melee attack speed for all of your melee weapons. I know perks have been in every game, but the augments really do give a new breadth to perks and using them, adding that customizability to using perks, making it feel individual to the one who's using it. The no perk really feels the same between two players. Augments are a game changer. They allow you so much control over the way you want to play and experience the game. Now we have replaced the armor upgrades in the arsenal with ammo mods. So when you go to the arsenal, you can apply an ammo mod to your weapon and upgrade its rarity. We are bringing Balwagos back and really just looked at how we could refine it and improve it for Black Ops 6. So you will be able to pick five gobble gums in menus and put those into a pack that you then use inside the match. And in the match, you just find a gumball machine, you go up to it, and then it'll give you one of those gobble gums. And you can choose when you want to activate them, and you can activate multiple at once. They can range from small changes in gameplay to drastic changes and upgrades that can really benefit a player. They can give you all the perks at once or even allow you to fire a weapon without using up any ammunition. They can be really powerful when used in a timely manner. Weapon builds are great. They allow players to save a build, which includes attachments and blueprints on a weapon. Players to then set that as a zombie build. That means when you're playing a match and you access a weapon via a wall buy or the mystery box, you'll get that zombie build in the game. It's at its core a mode that we love and we just want to continue to push it in new directions to keep it fresh and exciting, but at the same time making sure it's delivering on all the big elements that are core to the DNA of the mode. So we're creating new experiences within that. We're all very proud and excited about this game and we can't wait to see fans get their hands on it. 
the end of Cold War, our heroes kind of saved the day, we had contained the Dark Aether. Richtofen imprisoned them somewhere. Fast forward six years, and our crew have been in the deepest, darkest hole that the director could find to conceal them from the rest of the world, and we will be breaking them out and discovering the state of the world. All of the characters have gone under quite a bit of a change. Prison changes people, that's kind of inevitable. Our crew for Zombies this game is Weaver, Dr. Gray, Carver, and Maya. The first three were our handlers in Cold War. You got Weaver, who's this grizzled veteran, used to be a CIA spy, spec ops soldier. He's been through a lot since the events of Cold War. I think it's hit him harder than most because he failed his team and he's had six years to have that guilt amass. Gray has undergone a transformation. She's physically toughened up a lot compared to the kind of lab geek that she was, and that's going to be very important now that she's boots on ground. 46. Carver is the hardcore military guy. He's been stripped of his rank. Trying to find his place could be something that he could possibly struggle with. You're supposed to be dead. Maya is a new character that we're adding. She's coming into this story, desperately trying to find her brother. She's had to make an unlikely ally in the form of Peck. This is Maya. She's with me. Dr. Peck was a villain from the previous game, so they are not happy to see him. That kind of adds suspicion to Maya's character in everyone's eyes. Like, why are you hanging out with this guy? He's part of the reason we are here. You can't trust him. But they quickly realize that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. So they all are aligned on wanting to hunt down Richtofen and getting revenge. All of us here have a common enemy. The guy who locked you up. We're going to be having hero character interactions, so they're going to be speaking to each other. All those years behind the bars. Feels good to get hands on again. Pace yourself, Carver. I think we're just getting started. That's only going to be happening when they play the dedicated crew. They interact with each other. You get a lot more information about how their relationships sort of change. Look alive, Gray. And you can still play as any other operator, but if you choose to play as these hero characters, you're just going to get a richer experience because there's just more narrative content. To put the players actually into the characters that are living the story, it brings back that tightness that I think fans loved and are going to really welcome back this time around. The teams have been working so hard and we're really excited for everyone to experience the characters in the story in Black Ops 6.